Hello, it is March 24th, Friday. The market's going to be closed here in about an hour. So here is the weekly roundup and what I'm looking for going into next week. So starting off right here with the S&P 500, you'll notice up here we are looking at the 15-minute chart because one thing I've been noticing which could be a new trade in the toolbox for trade setups I'm looking at is trading off the first 15-minute candlestick when the when the market opens. So as you can see, here it is right here, this red candlestick right there, that is the first 15 minute and all we do is we just draw the box. That's the low, that's the high, the first 15 minutes. So then what I look for is when the price closes above it, not just breaks above it right here, but closes above it, then it's signaling there will be a little bit, at least a little bit push higher to the upside. And one target I look for is the 50% retracement but as you can see for that one it was already hit so I wouldn't have uh, I wouldn't have said it was going to be be it right there uh, if it was like something right up here say for instance the target I'm looking for up there then yeah that'd be a perfect target for it but when it's like that I just look for a couple points higher so this is more of a scalping trade so what I'm looking at is when this thing closes you can just get in right when that candle closes get in the next one or you can even wait for a pull back if you want to but you're just looking for something a, a little bit even higher than that for the next can for another candle to, to close higher but at least get a couple points off of here for this scalping trade because you know right up here there's a good five you know obviously it's kept on going up 20 plus points but it give you at least a good um couple points here for that scalp but then if you don't have another one that really pushes higher or closes above this candle and the price continues to move on back down you can even get in back down here because look you see where the bottom of that candle was or where that hit which was also where the low of it was for the opening 15 minute candle bounced off there perfectly and that would have been a great trade right there I mean even if you just took it back up to where you got in that's a 26 point trade right there so that is what I'm looking for still a couple other things to flesh out for it, but I'll just show you some other examples right here um, here we have the candle right here that's opening candle as you can see there's where pr price broke above it and then we had another one go up a little bit higher and it kept on going up so the trick is just to see where the target that we'd be looking for like this one for instance I probably have used the previous day's high for it and um, the current low for it because once that broke higher right there and it would have been a good target for nice little about five six point gain right there for that one so that's basically how what it's looking for here we have one right here there's the candle there it broke higher we didn't get anything more to a while but look probably kept on going down could have gotten in back back down here at the low of it right there and then price pushes on back higher I and mean, there's 16 points and even goes even higher up here right there there's a candle that finally closes higher than it right up there so it's it's looking pretty interesting here is one right here and this is one you can use a 50% retracement to uh, right there because there we have the first 15 minute candle that's on that one right there I'll just move this over so you see you can see the there's the wick for it so there's the candle then we have the price close lower than it so we're looking for it to go lower so a good target we're looking for right there is down at the 50% hit it very nicely down there and that would have been that trade set up for that one right there so just so, something I wanted to show with you all that I probably will be adding for it but what we did have in the S&P 500 here this past week this setup right here which is that one right there as you can see it came off of the daily Fibonacci extension trade it finally went and got hit see there it was right there that the um, 1.146 was the eventual close we we're looking for and price just went down there and just went really extremely lower because probably the early century I would have looked I would have looked to get in for it would have been the earliest one would have been right there or even right there would even be better um, but that's, that's kind of where the support took place of it right there and finally earlier this week or was it last week it was Friday Thursday Wednesday Tuesday Monday Friday so yeah excuse me last Friday I don't think I've done a video since then came up there and hit it and finally that one um, was finally done from that and since then there really hasn't been a whole lot else I know this is a 15 minute chart here's if you want to look at the five minute chart there's that one but there hasn't been any daily uh, daily Fibonacci extension moves to where it's um, going up there let's see there we have that one 
that one hit off the one the 1.4 and 4 but went back and hit the 1.4 and 6 to end that one for it so there hasn't been any huge um pulsating moves which would have uh created created a um a uh a daily Fibonacci extension set up for it. So we're just waiting to see what's going on next week. Now the market is still completely oversold. You can see it's been completely oversold down here in the MFI. Came out a little bit and now it's going back down in it. And the daily and the weekly looks even worse. Actually, the weekly's gone up some. So the weekly was completely oversold with it. And um, now it looks like it's starting to gain a little bit, but we'll see if it will continue in to next week. But definitely it's got it has more momentum. It could that it could have going to the upside rather than uh, to the downside. So just waiting for that pop up. Now Russell 2000 is a completely different beast over here. The Russell 2000 has had some major issues with it. It hasn't gotten a pop up like the SP 500 and the Dow Jones has because from this daily extension setup, price has just been creaming down. I mean the target I'm looking for is still way up here at about 1880ish, right up in there. And price is currently around 1741. It didn't get that follow through right here that uh, SP 500 and Dow Jones had that was shown in a second to complete it. In fact, it just went on went on back down. But one thing interesting to note is that a big five wave Elliott move right here, using well, I'm not sure why that thing's messed up right there. That thing got messed up. Okay, yeah, it's on the five, it's on the 15 minute chart. It looks like. Um, but using the oh, there we go. Yeah, I think you can either use a 5 or 15, it doesn't really matter, but using their 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. And then it looked like last week this was going to be the low. And if that was the low, I was expecting the move to go up and go all the way up and hit there, but it did not. Um, as you Obviously, it went, it went right back down and created another 5-wave move within it. But today, actually, we had that sell-off in the morning, and then look what happened here. Price went down there, hit it perfectly right on to end the... Um, the five way move now price could definitely go lower but that when it hits down that box which is just the 1.146 level it's extending from the uh, zero point down to the three point that's when i consider the five way move that look start looking for the turn because the turn's eventually going to happen because it has reached at least the lowest point that needs to go for the turn to happen in the five wave uh elliot move so today it did that it ticked right off of there and ever since then price has been going back up so uh, the Rolls 2000 again is completely oversold daily MFI completely obliterated on the weekly chart right here so it again I, th I thought it would turn around a lot sooner than this but it's still just a matter of time before this thing uh, starts starts going up and, and in fact I even bought uh, yesterday some IWM where is it yeah it's just the it's stock it's just the um etf of the russell 2000 to buy it because even on this one this thing is you know it's completely over oversold as well and so looking at the target up there for 184 price is currently at 170 for it so yeah russell just we're looking for a move up here a big move up in the russell you know another what's about 100 it's a uh, 130 ish plus points uh there in the russell going over to the Dow Jones, uh, just like the S&P 500, the Dow Jones from its daily Fibonacci extension trade right there, uh, it finally went up there and got hit the other week as well, kind of like the S&P 500. But unlike the, and unlike Russell 2000, who has not hit it. So since then, there hasn't been anything else to look for uh, regarding it. Um, I guess you you know could have been looking for some type of um, the retracement trade set up right here. I think that one actually went and. And what we're looking for here is to get hit at the 50% level, not just the 38%. So that one did not right there. That one did close enough right there. So that one went and got hit right there. Because the earliest we'd look to get into it would probably be about the 6.85 way up here um, for it. But what I've noticed is if you really get a big big extension move up, really want to look to get in about three quarters away between the 6.85 and 11.89. That seems to be the safest place for it. But other than that, uh, that big one is done, and there hasn't been any of the big daily sell-offs. Obviously, you know, every single market has been trending down here. We'll see if, like this, for instance, if this is just going to be a, um, what's it called? If this is just going to be like a trend channel right up here, somewhere so, somewhere like that, and see if price is going to hit up in there and then continue back to the downside here going in next week. So we'll see if that 
trend con continues or if we can actually get something to really um, close above it and break out of this break out of this downward trend right here and go on up and then last but not least going on over to oil oil as well look what happened to oil we had a daily uh, extension trade set up right here and price you know continued to move down lower a little bit but then look what happened yesterday price came up hit it or close it was like one or two away but close enough consider it done and uh, so we can go ahead and take that off of there because this setup is done and right after it hit it look that it's sold off it has been retracing back some today in here again I was just looking at the 15 minute open for it right there there's a 15 minute there closed above it got a little bit push higher right there so that would have been say you just took a little bit of that uh, well, let's see here so where's the 50% it's way down there so yeah you just would have had to scalp that one out a little bit but anyways that's 15 20 30 30 easy takes right there you can even hold it obviously higher if you wanted to but um, uh, that's it for, that's it for oil because there's really not anything else to say coming off being oversold in MFI and also uh, being obliterated here in the uh, weekly chart of the MFI for it so looking for eventually a pop-up in oil as well just kind of like a lot of the other them oil and especially Russell 2000 those are the big movers that we're looking for in those two markets and then as a little bonus right here we're going to look at uh, Bitcoin because in an earlier video I did in the year what I was looking for so I was looking for um, Bitcoin we got a potential five way move zero one two three four now if price breaks below this yellow line right here it invalidates it because that would put uh, the fourth wave going back into the first wave right here and that's one of the main Elliott, Elliott wave uh, rules is that the fourth wave cannot break into the first wave and it hasn't it came close but it, price has been rallying up for it and so we'll see if that continues and the target we're looking for the minimum target would be 78,815 for uh, Bitcoin price can of course go higher than that but that's the minimum target we look for for this five-way move to be considered complete so that's the wrap-up. Have a good weekend. Thanks. Bye.